Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Today I've got something a little bit different. This is a Zod Dart. So it's a 600mm wing that's capable of FPV and it comes, believe it or not, in this box and you can put it back in this box. So I've flown this and it still goes back in its box and I'll show you how in a second. I think these are fantastic, I'll tell you that straight up. Costs about £60, I got it from the UK. It doesn't come with a camera but it comes with everything else you need apart from your receiver and your battery obviously. But the whole plane is in here, motor, speed controller and stabiliser. So let's see what you get in the box. So in the box you get two wings. I'm just going to I'm gonna put everything to one side. Two stabilisers, the main body of the unit and the wing spur. So this is how it goes together. So this is your body. Now what's really nice about this is you don't need to do anything with it. So you put your wing spur through like that and the wings are magnetic and believe it or not they do hold on. So the wings go the wrong way around if you like. So the wings face forward servos to the top. Push the rod through and if you look at the back there if you can see that little hole that they're going to go through, the reverse magnet on them, both of these are going to grab. Here you have a connection for your servo that connects up to there. So there's no wires. Push that through. That's your first wing on. Same with the other wing. Grab this with one hand of it, bring it on the camera. Push that in there. There's your wings on, and these, the stabilizers, believe it or not, just clip on with magnets. And note they do not fall out. So, there you go. It's now ready to fly. That's how easy it is that you can just get that on the camera. So you can see it's got swept forward wings instead of your standard swept back wings, and that's to give it some more stability and a bit more speed. I've got my receiver here. The only thing I've done is put two little tiny holes in there to bring my receiver wires up which I'll show you in a second comes with a servo as pre-installed you don't have to do anything these wings come like that the only thing I've done is put some fly sky stickers on it and stickers here and there and that's as simple as it is so you can leave it in a box that's how small it goes underneath you've got vent for your motor and at the back this is just to stop it getting damaged when it lands it's not got a folding prop but you don't have a problem with that Kill the motor before it lands and you're absolutely fine. Got carbon stabilizers in here to hold this together and also on your air loans. And it really is a nice piece of kit. So I'm going to show you inside. So inside here I'm running on a 1300 battery, just a normal zippy. Battery connector comes with it. That comes already pre-installed to ESC, which is there. In there is the flight controller. So this is a 6 axis, 6 and 3G flight controller. So you've got full stabilisation. These cables coming off here. These three, as you can see here, I go into my receiver which is in there. And it's just a standard fly. It's actually the receiver that comes with the Nirvana. Straightforward, three wires. Just plug them into a socket like I've done there. I just converted that to that end there. You can see that there. And then... My camera, I've got a Cadix Turbo in here, I think it cost 14 quid in the sale from Banggood. I, I particularly don't think it's that great, but that's another, that's another story. And all I've done is put a blob of hot glue in to hold it in there. And then I have got an Eosheen 100 milliwatt receive, uh, VTX here, with a little antenna coming out the top. And I'm running that on a 1S battery separately, so I just run a little 1S LiPo and it runs for ages. That's as simple. This took me from box about 35 minutes to have it ready to go. Fitting the receiver, fitting the camera, gluing everything in the setting transmitter up. That's how quick it was. And then your little cover again, rare earth magnets again, clips on really nice. I just brought my antenna through the side. You can bring your antenna through, put a hole in there if you want, but then it's much more faff to fit it when you put it on. I've got it on the Nirvana. Really easy to set up. 
So all you do is select your model, make a model, and it's just a standard model. So it's just a standard four channel model with a switch to control your flight controller. So let me plug the battery in. I'll power it up for you. See the little blue light on there? That's it. So it's it's now fully stable. I should have had that sta obviously stabilised by put down, putting a holding it in position on the bench to make sure it was fully flat when I powered it up. So there you go. It's on. My Nirvana's on. So as you can see, I now have. You see that cat here? So I've now got Avalons on here, and then. Elevator, I'm, I'm playing mode, don't be surprised, I'm playing mode one here, so obviously it might look a bit strange to you. So I've got my elevator and my airlines. There's no rudder. And then I have it set up that way. I also have a switch here. Can't remember which switch set up, just bear with me one second. Which switch did I set up? So this switch here, so this switch changes its modes. So you've got three different modes so let me show you that so you've got fully stabilised stabilised stabilisation off ok so you've got full red flashing red and blue dead easy to set up the switch on, a, on one of these things and now that's ready to fly that's how simple it was to get it out of the box and have it up and running I absolutely love this thing it's got plenty of power it's got a lot of power, flies really really nicely I haven't got any flight footage to show you yet but I'll get some flight footage up in the next week or so um, mainly from the FPV camera so you can see what it looks like going through the air but yeah highly recommend this for £60 if you're a beginner it might not be the best first plane you could have it might be something that's better for a second plane after you've flown for a little bit because it can be a little bit twitchy, it's quite quick. But yeah, superb. Highly recommend it. Well worth the money. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.